What's up, my immune friends? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and uh, welcome back to Mist Survival. Okay, guys, today we are going to be working on the tanning rack. In order to get the tanning rack, we need leaves. In order to get leaves at a reasonable rate, I think, I haven't seen the uh, comments on the last video, just keep this in mind, but I think we need the sledgehammer. In order to get the sledgehammer, we need iron. In order to get iron, we need a pick. In order to get a pick, we need low-grade iron. And in order to get low-grade iron, we can use either components or metal scrap. I'm actually going to use metal scrap. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the metal scrap and we are going to go out to the blacksmith place. Remember I got that free blacksmith place? Well, there you go. I moved everything inside, by the way. Did a little, little bit of organizing. Um, I don't have any more briefcases, so I'm just going to take this military crate around with me for storage. And um, Oh, there's one other thing I want to do before I get going. We only have four liters now in the gas tank so um i guess the gas does get used up now so we're gonna go ahead and fill the tank okay and now we're up to seven and a half liters we're gonna have to remember to get liters along the way okay so we're gonna come over here drive down this road over here to the left and in two seconds we are going to be at the blacksmith place should have a pick pretty easily you know i i just realized i didn't have i didn't bring wood um and i'm probably gonna need wood for this but that's okay i could chop down some wood out here it won't be that big of a deal. Also, did I loot this? I should probably... You know what? I can loot that while this, stu while this stuff is cooking up. All right. So we look right here. You can see right here. Yeah, we do need wood. And we also need low quality metal ingots. In order to get low quality metal ingots, you can... Like I said, you can do either the metal scrap or you can do the components. Now, I would, I would say do the metal scrap, um, obviously, because I'm doing it. Because components just seem to be used for so much more. All right. There we go. Okay, that's going to take 29 minutes. And while that's doing its thing, we're going to loot over here. We're also going to chop down a tree. Oh, I didn't bring a saw. Yeah. I, we, can't make the, we can't make the wood without a saw. So we are going to have to go back for the wood. But, yeah, that's all right. Oh, grab the leaf. Oh, there we go. A claw hammer. Pretty cool. Pericti coup. All right, yeah. I'm going to go back and get the... Uh, go back and get the saw. And through the power of editing, I now have eight wood planks. All right, we're going to come in here because I'm going to show you. Check out these gears, man. See how expensive these gears are? That's what I'm telling you, man. Always grab those gears at that at that motel, right? All right, so... Oh, people are telling me not to shift click because if you shift click, you could lose stuff. So I'm going to be careful and make sure not to shift click. We'll see. I'll probably forget, but... All right, let's go ahead and make the pickaxe. Beautiful. And now we got to go to the mine. Now, when we last went to the mine, it was kind of a shit show. Um, <laughs> the, everything in front of the mine was gone. And, you know, it, it just, it didn't look very good. And then, <laughs> then everything was gone. And then all of a sudden, my car wouldn't, like, I couldn't stop my car, my vehicle. Right? So I'm not going to... Mm. Okay. So I am not... I can't see these freaking things. I gotta break these things up. They're pissing me off. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive my car right up to the point of the mine. And then I'm going to uh, just walk up there. And, um, you know, if everything's back, I'll assume it's been fixed. If nothing's back, I'll assume it's not been fixed. And I definitely don't want my car flying all over the place again. It, it did not it did not go well for me. Um, so I'm gonna be very careful this time. And I think I gotta kind of cut off around here. Go through here, come over this way, and there is the thing to the mine right there. Yep, and the mine's not there, so we definitely cannot drive up there. We have to walk. Okay, so just in case something weird happens, I'm going to go ahead and save the game too. And I think it's going to be okay when I just walk up here, but yeah, this place is fucked. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Early access, right? Yeah, it's kind of things that happen. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down here in number four. And let's take this out. And um, last time I was in the mine, if you like saved and reloaded, everything would come back. So that's what you do. You, you mine out, save, reload, come back, mine out, save, reload. Just keep doing that until you have everything you need. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to need or how much, unfortunately. But, you know, we'll see where we'll see where we can go here. We'll get, we'll get a lot of stuff. The problem is I'm going to have to like run up to my... Um, I'm going to have to run up to my freaking vehicle to drop stuff off now. It's going to be farther away, which is kind of um, not ideal. But there's zinc and iron ore. So it's a pretty good start right there. 
pretty good start. Okay, I ran out of room here, so there's some stuff on the ground. I could have just easily ran back to my truck and put stuff in there and then made more room, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to show you what I got when I get back to my truck. We did pretty good, man. We did pretty good. I like what they've done with these mines. Um, it used to be that it was just that one mine, right? What is this? Oh, I should probably make room for that. Uh, nah. You know what? I don't really need this stuff that badly. I need that more. Um, yeah, here's the, here's the thing. They, they used to just be the one mine, and all the stuff was in there. Saltpeter, uh, sulfur... All the ores and it was like it was really cluttered and you really didn't get what you want by the way i put some more of it in here so we should have plenty of iron to make the sledgehammer and um i like i like what he's did to change it i like the fact that there's two separate mines now now the other mine is a little bit more dangerous there's um there's enemies in there including the berserker yeah i think it's a berserker uh that mine's a lot bigger though you, know, you go down they get a lot more stuff um but there's there's not many ores in there there is some ores but it's mostly um saltpeter and uh, basically stuff to make gunpowder. So, you know, we'll get there eventually. We will get there eventually. Probably eh, relatively soon. We do have to do some looting. Um, probably do a little bit of looting today on this video. But I think next video is going to be a big looting video. I just want to get my... I want to get my hunger and thirst taken care of. I want to get my bow, arrows, and quivers and stuff. And then I will go looting. Um, having a... Having bow and arrow and quivers with you... Actually, let's just go right there. It's going to be very important while we're out looting. Because while we're out looting, we will get the mist. And what you do with the mist is it's a really good time to farm stuff. Um, you hop on top of a vehicle, and then you wait for the zombies to come in. And then you just you kill them all with the arrows. Um, and you keep doing it until the mist is over. And then you go down and you loot them all. It's a really good way to get salt. Salt is going to be something we're going to want a lot of. For sure. Because as you can tell right here, this meat goes bad pretty quickly. So. Alright, so we need iron. So let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. I think I have some more in here. And I think we need 10 things of iron, which we will have plenty of. We'll have, we'll have that and then some. Uh, there and there. Four, four, and four. Okay, very good. Melt, melt, and melt. And that will give us everything we're going to need for the da, 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 sledgehammer. We're still going to need some low-quality metal. Pretty sure I still have low-quality metal. And we're also going to need wood. I will make the wood back at base. We're probably going to go... Yeah, we're going to stay at base and just sleep through the night. And then we'll come back and get our sledgehammer in the morning. Then we're going to go bash up cars. Um, I'll probably hit that one uh, trailer in the in the motel that I say to always hit. Hey, if I'm going to tell you guys to always hit up that thing, then you need to always hit it up. And then we're going to go get uh, two water barrels. I don't know if you guys remember the first day, but there is a... Um, a cabin in the woods over there with two water bottles. Um, not water, not like little water bottles, but I mean like um, water barrels. That's what I meant. And uh, that's going to save us a lot of resources that we don't have to, you know, actually make that. That will be dope. Do we want to melt this up? You know what? I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave all this in here. And we're going to cook this stuff when we go back in the morning. I might just leave it there. The thing is, I don't want to leave it there because I'm afraid I'm going to forget about it. Hmm. I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. For now, I'm just going to leave it in here. I, I think we'll actually melt all this down before we go out in the morning. I think that'll be a good idea. I'd like to do it now rather than later. And, and now in order to make the planks, there's a couple different ways you make you can make the planks. You can make the planks by hand or you can get a um, you can get a saw, a saw bench. Uh, it's not really called a saw bench though. It's called a... Um, what the hell is it called? A saw machine. Now this says it uses power, but... It doesn't, well, last time I played it didn't need power. So, although we could probably make a generator pretty soon. The thing is we're going to need a bunch of gears to make generators. And I'm going to, I'm about to spend both of my gears right now. So we're going to have zero gears. Uh, but I think this is a good, a good reason to spend them. Someone in the comments made a, a very smart comment about the, don't use the basic bow, make the long bow. Like this is, this is what you want, not this. But we do have to upgrade this in order to do that. So, let's go ahead and grab six of these. Man, we are running out of materials. That's okay, guys. When we get the sledgehammer, we're going to get a lot of materials. You wait, you'll see. It's going to be... We're going to be swimming in materials. All right. So, what I need now is the saw. There we go. And we already have some logs on us. So I'm going to grab some more. Because why the heck not? And let's go ahead and see if you... um. Oh, you can make uh, planks out of these, like, wood scraps, too. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, there we go. So we're going to do that. And that's going to take a while. Three hours sounds good to me. Okay. And there we go. Uh, yep, we got a bunch of wood. Oh, God, I can't see anything. Got to get some lights in here. Um, we are going to dehydrate. Let's go ahead and eat some of this meat. It's probably going to waste a little bit of meat, but it doesn't matter. This meat's going to go bad. I still have a bunch of that meat left over. And now we're going to need water. Um, this one right here. See, I got a bunch of this uh, meat. This stuff's going to go bad. There's just no way around it. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat it all in time. And thirst is going to be a real problem. So we need to deal with this with this thirst issue. Um, I don't remember how to make clean water, honestly. It's just... Uh, oh, we need a water purifier. That's right. That means we're going to need a bucket. Okay. All right. We're not going to have the metal scraps for this. Yeah, the water won't do us any good without that water purifier. We'll have to make that when we get back. Um, all right, first things first. Let's go ahead and upgrade the workbench. There we go. Workbench is now upgraded. And now we can make the chain or... No, we got to upgrade it again. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we can't make the chain yet. Um, we definitely need a uh, bucket, but we're not going to make that just yet. These small animal traps, last time I used them, they didn't work. The lockpick's not that great. The crowbar is better. Unless they beefed up the lockpick, but I'm not really sure. Uh, we can't make any guns yet. And there's the longbow. So what's the difference? Just a few more sticks, huh? Well, commentator, you are 100% right. Make the longbow. The basic bow is a piece of crap. Um, you can make fire arrows. Now hunting arrows, which are really good, but they're kind of expensive. Um, and here's the quivers that I was telling you about. Uh, yeah, see, we need the leather. Oh, you need to... Oh, so we can only make the basic quiver. Okay. Well, we're going to need the leather uh, for the tactical... I'm not even going to bother with the basic quiver. I'm just going to save up for the tactical quiver. A <laughs> shield. Yeah, you can make a shield, too. I was up late sawing wood all night, so... Off to a little bit of a late start, but that's okay. We should have plenty of time to get everything done we need to. Okay, so let's come over here. Oh, let's turn that off. There we go. Let's forget to turn that off. All right, so we're going to take all of this. And as much as we can carry, that should be plenty. And what we're going to do is we're going to make brass with this, by the way. Um, oh, crap, I can't because I can't. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw this on the table for the time being. One, two. Should be good. Four, eight, twelve. Beautiful. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that, and we are going to do this to make brass. So remember, two copper, one zinc. Now, do I do I need the copper for stuff? I don't remember. I feel like I did need the copper for stuff. Should I make some copper just to have it? I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. There we go. But I know I need the brass. I need the brass for uh, uh, bullet casings. Okay. So, the good old such... Ah, oh, crap! The low-quality metal ingots. I forgot. I got those back at base. So, I ended up getting four brass ingots and two copper ingots. You know, um, again, I'm going to need zinc ingots probably for something. I just don't know what. Um, I came back and I had to um, I had to use some of these components because I didn't have any of the scrap um, iron left at home, which really kind of sucks because these uh, freaking components are really, really important. But really didn't have much of a choice there. It's fine. I won't do it again. All right, so there we go with the sledgehammer. The old sledgehammer. Now, the first thing I'm going to do with the sledgehammer is I'm going to sit up in my chair, and then I'm going to take the sledgehammer and I'm going to hit some trees with it because I really want to see if that's going to help me get feathers. It's the main reason I want the sledgehammer, to be perfectly honest. And we are dealing with a mist here, so I'm going to go home for the mist because um, if I try and deal with the mist out here, uh, the infected won't go anywhere. They'll just be below me all the time, keep me up all night. And then I won't be able to pass the time very easily. So I'm going to go home, run inside, and I should be able to sleep for, you know, three hours. I think the mist usually lasts for about three hours. So let's come on in here. And come on over here. And sleep in our comfy, comfy bed that we made for ourselves, huh? Look at this, man. I'm, I'm freaking living in style. Man, the freaking thirst is going to be a problem. The thirst is going to be a problem, no doubt about that. we got a lot of work to do in a very small amount of time. All right, sleep for two hours. Probably have to sleep for another hour after this. Uh, no, only two hours? Oh, I wonder if they changed the uh, mist, because it used to last three hours. I wanted to make a bucket before coming out here, because moving water around uh, with, like, just the water containers, you know, it's kind of slow. 
But that's okay. We can't. We'll make a bucket eventually. We don't have what we. I don't think we have any for the bucket, or if we do, it was close. I don't know. I didn't look, but I I know I'm out of scrap, and I'm pretty sure you need four scrap, and I think I have like three or something. Uh, that's okay. We can move stuff around with the bottles easily enough. Uh, do I want to check that out? Nah, I don't think I want to check that out. First thing I want to do is I want to go get the 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 water barrels, because that is going to be of utmost importance at this point. So I gotta find. There's a road. There should be a road over here going to. Oh, here we go. Yep. And then I think I make a right up here, and we will be there. Yeah, this is one of the places I was thinking about living. Oh, 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 careful, careful. Yeah, there's gonna be a few things I want to take from this place. I think there's actually gonna be a locker in there too. Yep. Anything else? Nope. Right, let's go ahead and grab the locker. Don't care if there's anything in it or not. If there is, we'll look at it when we're at home. Um, let's put that right there. And, oh, let me show you what the sledgehammer is good for. Look at this. Right? And this thing this thing takes damage so much slower than the axe. Right? So you're 99.7. I mean, yeah, this is the way to go. This is definitely the way to go. Really? Only two pieces? Oh, okay, I was going to say. One or two pieces out of there. Must be kidding me. Alright, just some wood scrap. I don't care about that. Let's take this apart. Who knows? Maybe it'll give me a gear. I'm going to need six gears for the freaking generator. I'm going to need gear for each each uh, piece of storage I want to make. For the um, the secure lockers. Uh, nope. No gear. I didn't think so. That's perfectly fine. This is what I'm here for. Let's grab this water barrel. Alright, and why only have one water barrel? And you can have two. I'll grab that knife as well. Knives take a lot of damage, especially when you're getting bark. I was, like, scraping bark off the tree with the knife. And my god, it, like, it, it, oof. It's like it's made out of plastic or something. All right, let's see if we can get feathers with this. Please give me feathers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Sticks, too. Sticks are good, too, but what I really need right now are feathers. All right, that's great. All right, I'm not going to get any more. I'm going to do that off camera. That's, that's awesome. That's exactly what I need because we're going to need, like, what, six lashings to make the freaking tanning rack? Um, but that's okay. Now we have a good way to make the tanning rack. Let's let's take this thing and get some water. You know what I remembered? Um, the water isn't going to do us any good. We need the water purifier. Uh, in order to get the water purifier, we need a lot more of this metal stuff. Components, scrap metal, whatever we can get. we got to hit up all these cars. Now, when I last played, uh, these cars respawn when you restart the game. And it's really needed. Like, if these cars didn't respawn, you know, there wouldn't be much to do in this game. You'd get to a point and you wouldn't be able to really do much of anything else. I mean, theoretically, you can mine and turn the ores you get in the mine into these, like, you know, scrap metal and components. Um, the problem is the cost is so much. It's, like, it's not really feasible. I don't think anyone will play the game, honestly, if that was the only way to get scrap. Uh, it's just, it's way too much. It's, like... It's a ridiculous conversion. I don't remember exactly what it is. I just remember, like, when I figured it out, I was like, that's ridiculous. Nobody's going to do that. So, yeah. Well, let's hit a bunch more cars, and then uh, we're going to take all this stuff home, and we're going to deal with some water, and uh, hopefully we'll get a bow today, although I think the tanning rack's going to take a long time for the for the skin to dry. So we can make we can make the bow, but the problem is we won't be able to make the quiver. I mean, we won't be able to make the quiver, because um, I'm not going to make the crappy quiver, and I need leather. And in order to get leather, we're going to have to wait for that uh, bear skin to, sh to dry out, which is going to take days. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll save the bow for another episode. Might be a good idea, considering how much we've gotten done today. I don't really need the car batteries, but the problem is, if I don't pick them up, they're going to be here forever, and that sucks. All right, I'm going to come in here. I next video is going to be a looting video, no doubt. No doubt. Now that we've got food and water taken care of, it's going to be all about looting. Um... Even if I don't have the bow. If I don't have the bow, so so be it. We'll, we'll still do the looting video. But um, we're definitely going to have the bow. It's just going to take a couple game days, man. It takes a long time for that stuff to dry out. The water filling mechanic in this game is so simple, yet so ingenious. I freaking love it. So what you do is you come here, you press V to fill something. Um, then you put it in here. You fill. Right? You can see it's green. It's dirty water. You fill the other one. Okay. And then once you've got those bottles filled, you come over here to this uh, water barrel, interact, and give the water. I mean, it's so simple, but no other games do it like this. This is like, this is this is perfect. I mean, this really is perfect. You know, um, we're gonna go for ten liters and uh, 
call it a day because we still need to make the water purifier. All this water in the world isn't going to do us any any good. You know, 100 liters of water is not going to do us any good if we die of dehydration before the water purifier can do its job. So let's go ahead and put 10 liters in here. Next time I come here, I will have a um, I'll have a bucket as well. The bucket can hold 10 liters at a time, so it's a lot easier. All right, time for the water purifier. By the way, this is where I'm keeping all my uh, my stuff for the vehicles until it gets full. Then I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, we're gonna need a bucket. Okay, so what did we need for the bucket? I think it's uh, pretty doable. Yep, there we go. Can make multiple buckets. I think it actually uses the bucket. Um, I should probably make another bucket. I'm gonna hold off though. I don't want to. I don't want to use up all my stuff and then maybe I don't have enough stuff to finish what I'm making. Uh, the water purifier really needs to be made today. No joke. Well, that looks pretty good to me. And we're gonna need stone. And I think that's it. Wow. Okay then. Uh, there's some stone. I knew I was gathering stone for something. Probably. Oh, I don't even need any tools. Look at that. 45 minutes and we're good to go. Hell's yeah. And I am pretty hungry right now, so let's go ahead and have some food. We need to get some lights up in here, too. I don't think I'm going to mess around with regular lights. I'm, uh, like, I, there's, like, tiki torches and stuff you can make. Uh, I don't really think I'm going to mess around. Well, I guess I could. They're pretty freaking cheap. Nah, I don't know. I don't think so. All right, so now we got some water here, so now we'll take the water. I don't know why I put... I don't know why I emptied out the, uh, the bottles. That was pointless. <laughs> also, it was 12 liters, not, uh, 10... Okay, so we're going to take these two out, and then we should be able to put these right in here. Uh, I think you have to put it on the amount of liters like it is, or you can't take it out, which is kind of weird. Um, so we're going to need some matches and tree bark. Matches and tree bark. See, it holds 16 liters, by the way. All right, matches and tree bark. Oh, you know what? Once it starts, you you can't stop it. So why don't I go ahead? I'm going to go ahead and make another bucket. I, I know I have plenty of stuff for it. So I'm going to go ahead and make make another bucket. And that way I could transfer stuff out of there a lot easier. Okay, and there we go. And then we come in here, and this should be able to take everything out. So hey, look at that. That thing holds 10 liters, the bucket. And then we could put um, all of it in here because this thing can hold 16 liters. So that's eight liters there we go there should just be a takeout max thing okay uh now all we need is the tree bark and the matches tree bark and the matches uh, i know the matches are in here and the tree bark is eeny meeny miny mo i don't freaking know <laughs> it rhymes there we go i knew i had a lot of tree bark because I, I hit a bunch of trees with the knife uh, in between videos and distill and there you go and now our water is taken care of awesome the cool thing is um if you sleep through the night this thing keeps running so now i have all the water i'm gonna need water is no no longer a problem food is not really a problem honestly like i could always get good another bear uh the thing is like man the food goes bad so quick so like i'm gonna lose like multiple pieces of meat i mean I'm going to lose at least one of these pieces of meat, probably two, to be perfectly honest. We really need salt. That's what we need. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out. We're kind of getting to the end of this video, but I do want to get the leaves. Um, I went ahead and make three lashings with what I had. I'd like to make the rest of the lashings and at least get that tanning rack done um, in this video. So I can't believe this gets leaves. It's so dope. This this thing is awesome. The sledgehammer is awesome. It might, it might actually be like something you look for on day two, honestly. I guess it depends how much food you get. I didn't do a lot of looting. You probably could loot through the first few days, no problem, and get a lot of food, you know? Uh, and then you don't really have to get this stuff as quickly as I did, but I, I don't know. I'd rather get this stuff now. We're going to do a lot of looting. I'm gonna. I'm probably going to loot. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't... I reserve the right to change my mind, but I, I have every plans to loot next video. Faux show. All right, let's get all this stuff. Wow, that took, like, no time. By the way, in case you were wondering, and I didn't show you yet, I, I think I did, but just in case I didn't show you, oh, look at this. Where'd this freaking guy come from? Huh. It looks like there's almost a mist, but I don't know, that's weird. Anyway, take your knife, stab the bottom of the tree. And I just broke my knife. But that's how you get it. Now, I told you, these knives go quick. It's nice they don't get destroyed now, though. I can, I can actually repair that on the repair bench. So that's pretty cool. Alright, well, let's go ahead and make this tanning rack, and then I'm going to put the uh, hide on it, and I think we're going to call it there. 
I think we're going to call it there. I kind of want to make the bow and the quiver and everything all in one video. I think that'd be cool. So let's go ahead and we need more lashing. I put the lashing in here, I believe. Uh, no? Yeah, it's right there, Cage. You're blind. You're blind, bro. Well, fair enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and take care of this. We're gonna need some nails and some wood. Shouldn't be a problem. There's the wood. I know I got some nails floating around here somewhere. Uh, where is the nails? There they are. I can always craft nails now, but I, I looted those, so. Um, wait, what? There we go. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, and there's the tanning rack. So let's go ahead and grab our. Don't forget this. Uh, anything that comes out of the bear, all the anything that comes out of the bear will go bad eventually. Although I gotta be honest, I think this has said 89.9 for a long time. Maybe this stuff doesn't go bad. I don't know, but let's go ahead and put one of those on there. Now one of those will get us eight things of leather. It's all the leather we need, and I'm telling you, it's gonna take a long time to dry. A long freaking time to dry. Alright guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Bye.